So as you can see, the concrete muncher is literally setting about the old Bull Street car park. And this is a scheme that we've wanted to get on with for some years now, actually. It's an old redundant car park that really wasn't doing anything for the town centre. So working with the council, the combined authorities' cash is actually paying for the demolition so that the site can then be regenerated. And the future of the town centre, I'm still an optimist because I still think it's where people will come to meet for different things. It may not all be about retail, but it is, as I've just said, about how I think it's also about where public services will be. It will, we will get back to the restaurants and the cafes. There'll be some new innovative uses as well. Actually, there are plans in all of the town centres of the Black Country for significant redevelopments. If we think in Dudley with the metro arriving, of course, the Dudley interchange and the brilliant scheme with Portersfield. So we've been waiting for so long for this building to be knocked down. It's been, it's been an eyesore for many, many years. I think it was built in the 70s. Uh, but now, when this is gone and all the new vibrant stuff that's going to take its place with the houses and the shops and the nightlife and the eateries it's going to bring so much life back into West Bromwich. We started progressing on site in July this year um, we've done a lot of preparation works and deconstruction to get to this stage and, and the machine started work on site this week. The, the car park should be demolished within the next two weeks um, and then we'll be processing removing the ground uh, slab and foundations between now and Christmas time so we should be off by by the end of 2020. People want to live close to close to the town, not far away like they, they, they used to. It's going to bring so much life back into that town and that's what we want for West Bromwich. And one of the really exciting things that the Combined Authority is thinking about is for any of the cash that we put on the table through our Brownfield Redevelopment Fund, there must be a minimum of 20% affordable in the new homes and we're not going to compromise over that.